Hello, hello, people. What, what is going on? Huh? No, 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 no. Seriously, tell me. What's going on? <laughs> I'm joking. Hey, look at this beautiful three man takedown. But anyway, I want to crack down to her business because, as you're witnessing right now, is the utmost beautiful. Well, uh, slightly beautiful as is on console, but. I'm sure we can all accept that <laughs> because at the moment I can't run this on the PC and I have actually tried but I have to put it on the absolute minimal to get it to even run at probably I'd say 30 FPS but my computer is on the way, my new computer that is and I'm sure that will be able to run it as well as uh, with fraps on hopefully ultra settings but I'm not sure because apparently the graphics aren't uh, maximized uh, in the beta as opposed to the release so that's something we're gonna have to wait and see um, to brief you on this gameplay I am using the SVD and I am slightly camping for the time being I am defending and you know I'm not afraid to camp when I'm defending and I, I do acknowledge the fact that a lot of people ridicule camping um, just because it's almost an excuse for losing and dying, but if you were to come um, come in contact with real warfare, you are probably or most probably going to encounter one or the odd man sitting in the corner because he's shitting himself. And yeah, I don't have a problem with campers. It's your responsibility to walk, look into the room and check the corners. But everyone has this sort of um, urgency to rush and therefore get themselves kills and blame the game and the players you know don't hate the game hate the player but I don't want to go off on a rant because <laughs> it will probably turn a lot of people off and I'm sure it probably has already um but let me give you some of the pros of the game anyway before I start getting carried away with um, needless talk which I'll probably get into in another commentary but anyway moving on to the pros and cons the first pro I can announce is obviously the amazing graphics and I know on the PS3 they are slightly dumbed down or significantly dumbed down shall I say because uh, even myself when I played it on minimal settings I could see that the textures and light and etc was uh, much more enhanced than the PS3 but that's not to say that it's still eye candy on the consoles because I still enjoy it very much um, anyway so the next one I'd say was the fluid gameplay um, it's much more fluid than Battlefield Bad Company 2. The controls uh, is much more sensitive. The way the character moves, how he moves his gun, and the way it sways, the way he jumps objects, the way he pro go goes prone. You know, all of it kind of goes hand in hand, and it creates this just this fluid gameplay, almost like parkour when you're going from A to B. It's like you can create that fluid movement, and that's what uh, Dice I think has gone for not only um, easy to control but sort of this fluid movement uh, at the same time the next pro I would go on about is the dynamic map design I love how it goes from this open uh, landscape warfare straight and in directly into this narrow subway system the only downside uh, to the beta that is is they removed the vehicles which I think uh, was almost needed and necessary in this map because sometimes uh, our team needed a, that push you know we needed that extra push because of all the snipers that are planted around when you're attacking you're not necessarily going to be a sniper to snipe the snipers if you get what I mean but um, yeah I think that was an issue and I think I, I don't understand why they didn't actually uh, bring vehicles into this map but I guess we'll see that on release and I just bought this gameplay in here just to show you the knife animation because it was executed beautifully and then I die immediately after <laughs> but yeah the gameplay is going to speed up much more in terms of pace and it's going to be much more enjoyable to watch I just wanted to give you that sort of variation uh, with the SVD and then moving on to the um, more fast paced SMG but yeah before I run out of time let me uh, move on to the cons. I don't want to seem too cynical about it, but I want to be realistic because this is a beta and DICE want to see and hear about the flaws of the game in its current state to help it progress on release. And there are quite um, a lot of flaws, so if I do miss out any, be sure to comment some so I'll put them in the description and hopefully in some way, some form, somehow, this video will get to DICE and 
they will read the description. So if you're watching this dice, read the description so you can get a clear understanding of the problems in the game at the moment. Now currently in the gameplay you're going to see me use a cheeky little tactic uh, which is ambushing the opponent as they start rushing to their next objectives. Hopefully not too many people will start doing this, <laughs> otherwise it will become a useless tactic. But anyway, moving on to the first con of the game, uh, or should I say glitch, it's going through the floor. A lot of time you encounter uh, whilst going prone, um, or even sometimes ducking, you start sinking into the floor. And I've actually encountered a serious issue where I've been stuck inside the floor. Well, not necessarily stuck, I managed to get out, but where I was literally deep inside the floor, but was able to kill people above, and I'm not sure if they saw me, but if they didn't, then obviously on their side, I would say that was clearly unfair. I'm going to have to quickly run through these. I'll uh, give a more precise description in the description below. But um, another one is sprinting. Occasionally, I experience this issue where... I cannot sprint even if I have not been sprinting uh, because I'm not sure if there is a limit but if there was I would not have rinsed it because usually it's when I hit a wall perhaps and I have to walk for a while before the game says yes you can sprint now. Um, we're moving on to this specific gameplay where I use the torch to my advantage on the um, or the flashlight sorry on the pistol and start racking up some kills. Um, Next, uh, my issue would be when inviting a friend uh, into my squad, then being separated uh, on the actual game. I get an occasional screen flicker uh, while I'm playing, and I'm not sure if anyone else gets that. I've heard apparently my cousin does. Uh, you can't hold grenades on the console, you have to immediately throw them. I know I've missed a lot out, but it's time for me to go, so I hope you enjoyed this Minpuck. Peace! Down, the right there!